I always want to remind everybody, we, all, we are all immigrants, right? That's, that's a cliche in many, in many ways, but you should know, two-thirds of Americans are either immigrant, a child of an immigrant, a grandchild of an immigrant, or like me, married an immigrant. No country on the planet is like this. It's our strength, it's not our liability. Some of us came to the shores voluntarily, some of us did not, okay? But we should know that we're all strivers. We have that in our DNA, that we are strivers, we're survivors. Let's tap into that immigrant spirit. Um, and I mentioned this earlier, the immigrant culture of self-reliance, thrift, entrepreneurship, education, family. I wanna, I wanna kinda end up here by talking about Omid Kordistani. So Omid was a 12th employee of Google. He grew up in, he was born in Iran, he grew up in the UK, and his favorite TV show was uh, The Jeffersons. He loved watching The Jeffersons. And his, you, know, you guys remember that old show? You know, the laundromat guy, and he, had, he owned one laundromat in New York City, then he owned two, then he owned five, then he owned 50, whatever. And then he owned a big penthouse in the sky in Manhattan. So Omid's watching this as a kid, and this becomes the soundtrack in his mind, moving on up in America with the great penthouse in the sky. So he comes to America, goes to college here. He walks into Sergey Brin and Larry Page's uh, garage. They had 11 employees at Google at that time. And Google had really cool technology, but they didn't know how to make any money yet. So Larry comes in, I mean, uh, Omid comes in and says, listen, I, I have an idea. Let me help you monetize that. They do it, he invents the business model for Google. He becomes a billionaire. Everybody around him becomes billionaires. So here's his speech he gave to a, a largely American-born uh, college or graduation audience. He says, listen, being an immigrant gave me an edge in business in America. He gave me a drive, a sense of optimism, um, perseverance, you know, it's given me an edge. I continue to rely on the fact that I'm an immigrant. I want you to do that too. Even though you're born here, I want you to think like an immigrant, act like an immigrant. There's no safety net. Imagine there's no safety net. Take risks, embrace desperation, right? This is my daughter Isabella. When she was eight, she says, Daddy, you talk about immigrants all the time in the house. He, you know, what is this word immigrant? What does it mean? She's wearing this shirt, immigrants are making America stronger, right? What does that mean? She, I said, Isabella, I said, I, let me think. I said, to me, immigrants are heroes. They give up the old country for the new, the new world. And they do it oftentimes in a great hardship, a great sacrifice, and they do it for their children. And she says, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be an immigrant too. I'm thinking she probably will to China or to India. Um, good luck and thank you very much. 